and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because we are unboxing the Witch's Moon Deluxe Sabbath box for Mabon. I cannot wait. It has been killing me. This was delivered on Friday and I worked all weekend. So today was the first day that I had time to film and unbox this. So it's just been sitting there and it's been eating away at me to know what is inside this amazing box. This is one of their deluxe Sabbath boxes. So it is a one-time purchase. It was limited to 100 people and that's all the boxes they had for it. So you won't be able to purchase this box, but they will be having one for Sawen next month. So if this interests you, I would keep your eye out for them posting when they will be releasing that box. It is a bit on the pricier end, so it's not a cheap box. It was over $150 shipped for the box, but it is huge. Like, look at the size of this box. So it is going to be full with so many goodies. I've gotten a few in the past and they are well worth your money. You get the value from the box and they curate a perfect box for the Sabbath to help you celebrate it. So I already, already pre-cut the box. So let's just open it up and take a look inside. There's a peek. On top just has their information sheet with everything that comes in it, but I don't want to look at that, but I do want to read the top blurb for you guys. So the Deluxe Mabon Collection. We are thrilled that you are receiving our very first Deluxe Mabon Collection, limited to 100. Within this collection, you will find a variety of items that are intended to be used within your Mabon rituals, altars, and celebrations. Mabon is the autumn equinox where the day and night share equal standing and maintain perfect balance. This is a time of in-between where we reflect on the past, celebrate the present, and prepare for the future. This Sabbath is often referred to as the Witch's Thanksgiving and is among the oldest harvest celebrations in Europe. From this day forward, we start to see the natural world around us beginning to embrace the descent into darkness. As practitioners, we understand this natural cycle as a wonderful system of birth, death, and rebirth. We know that the Sabbaths represent our measurement of growth, of celebration, and of contemplation. During this time, create meals with seasonal fruits and vegetables, create a harvest altar, honor the blessings and accomplishments of the prior months, and take time to optimistically gaze upon the coming dark months, focusing on what you wish to achieve. Mabon is a wonderful time to record your thoughts and place your intentions in writing. As you celebrate Mabon with friends, family, or solitarily, may the spirit of the season bring the essence of comfort, hope, and happiness to your home. May these items assist you in honoring this absolutely beautiful time of year. The first item on top is a Book of Shadows artwork page for Mabon. Mabon Book of Shadows artwork, written, illustrated, and designed by G. Ibis. With all of that removed, here is a peek inside of the box. It is packed full, and I can't wait to see everything that's inside of it. I'm going to pull out the first thing on top. It is wrapped in bubble wrap, and there are multiple items inside. It looks like we received a few herbs. We received clove, and it's a pretty big pouch full. We have calendula, and also some cinnamon sticks. Burned in an incense, clove lens protection brings joy to the home, attracts riches, and gives inspirational confidence. Cinnamon's energy promotes success, healing, the raising of spiritual intent, and clear psychic vision. Calendula has long been used in protection, its energy dispelling negativity and drawing light to the user. This whole box smells so good. The moment I opened it, it just smelled like fall in your face. So I'm curious to see 
what is creating that scent inside this box. There is also this large piece of braided sweet grass. I know what it is, but I've actually never used it. So I'm curious to see how it burns and how it works, how it smells. But it is a big piece of it. An extra large sweet grass braid. And it is one of the Witch's Moon's favorites. And there is one more item in this bag. And it is also bubble wrapped. Not quite sure what it is. I am not quite sure what it is. It kind of looks like a mini gourd of sorts. I'm not sure, but it has like a couple like white dots and a white line. I honestly, I don't know. So hopefully something in this box will tell us what it is and what you use it for. If it has a purpose or if it's just for like decoration on your altar, I'm not quite sure. This is a hand painted mini gourd balance amulet. The next thing out of the box is in this bubble wrap and it looks like it's a candle. So maybe this is what is making the box smell amazing. It is a housewarming Reiki energy charged candle. Let me take it out of this plastic. So there's a big pillar candle. Oh my God. That smells so good. This is definitely the scent that was coming out of the box. So this candle is a blend of cinnamon, apple, and orange blossom. It smells so good. It is a crystal journey candle, um, a housewarming. Let peace and tranquility fill our loving home. May it be a safe haven from the troubles of the world, always surrounding us with love and warmth. An extra large housewarming Reiki charged candle made with cinnamon, apple, and orange blossom oils. The next item is also bubble wrapped. Let's see what it is. And it looks like a mortar and pestle but it's, it's metal, <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. I've never used a metal one before. Mine is like, I guess the one I have is like a type of marble. But this one's really pretty. I cannot open this. <laughs> there we go. So it's like a metal one and it's really intricate detailing. It's black and gold. A black and gold mortar and pestle. Okay, we got another one of these um, burlap bags. We received one in the Witch's Moon box a couple months ago and I was obsessed with it and I'm still obsessed with it and now I get two of them. But this is full of goodies. But of course you can always use this bag. It is a little messy, but so useful. So there are a couple items inside this bag. Ooh, the first one is like a little stand. I'm not sure that it's big enough to fit like a book on it, maybe. We'd have to test it out and see. But m definitely maybe a piece of artwork or paper, something smaller, maybe a smaller book would fit on it, but it's not like that deep for a larger book but it is super intricate detailing and it feels like it's made of like brass or some type of metal. 
an altar stand intended for altar imagery, cards, etc. Inside, the other items inside our burlap bag, we have two other items. They are just in these bags. Let's open, hmm. let's open this one first. This one maybe feels like it's a book, and this one may be some type of card deck. So let's open and see if I'm right, if it's a book or not. Ooh. It is a journal. This is really pretty. It's like a leather journal. It has a wrap around the spine. And then the inside. It's like really pretty and well made. A nice like soft leather. Ooh, this is so cool. I don't own a journal like this, so I'm super excited. I'm not a huge journaler though. I wish I were. I try and then it just, I fall off and it, it just doesn't happen, but I, it is so cute. Are you a big journaling person? A book of shadows journal made with tree free organic recycled paper. All right, let's open our other bag. And this one I thought felt like some type of card deck, oracle, or tarot. Ooh, it is the Seasons of the Witch, the Mabon Oracle deck. I'm so excited. I've been having my eye to buy this one. I have their Sawan deck and their Yule deck and their Beltane deck, but I didn't have this one, and I had been looking and wanting to buy it and putting it off. And there was a reason because we were getting it in this box. So I'm so glad I didn't purchase it, but I'm so excited to own it now. Let's open the deck up and take a look at some of the cards. Oh, the edges are orange. They're foiled orange edges. I love that. Orange is my favorite color. That is so pretty. I'll do a quick flip through as well. So you can take a look at more of the images on these cards, but they are so gorgeous. And I love the autumnal coloring on these. Celebrate the autumn equinox with the energy of Mabon and give thanks for the abundance of Mother Earth, both literally and spiritually. Mabon honors the earth and is a celebration of balance, equality, and harmony. As the wheel of the year comes full circle, Mabon is a good time to set intentions, release tension, and set new personal goals. The cards in this oracle offer intuitive messages rather than invocations. They align with your energy, helping you to unlock your inner wisdom with the assistance of powerful spiritual forces. It includes 44 cards and a guidebook. So we are down to the last two items in the box. This one, I think this is a book. I'm not sure what this one is. It says it's a Witch's Moon exclusive though. So we're gonna open that one last. Let's open this one first and see if this is our book since the other one was a journal. And it is definitely a book. It is a Kitchen Witch's Cookbook. That is so cool. I'm a huge Kitchen Witch. I love Kitchen Witchery. This looks like it has so many recipes in it. I cannot wait to try some of these. Transcend ordinary eating with over 300 magical recipes. Discover the joys of creating kitchen magic with this book's unique blend of delicious recipes, humor, history, and practical witchcraft. 
There are 346 recipes from around the world with tips and techniques to transform your approach to cooking. Whether you're the chef for the family, friends, or yourself, this delightful book gives you an amazing dish for every occasion and almost every day of the year. I just opened up to a pumpkin bread pudding. That sounds delicious. I'm definitely going to have to try that one. All right, and we're down to our last item, which it says it is a Witch's Moon exclusive item, meaning that it should only be available through the Witch's Moon and you won't be able to get it anywhere else which is really cool because a lot of the items included you can purchase like through other places. I'm really curious what this is. I have no idea. Hmm. So it looks like it's a slab of sorts. I'm not entirely sure if it's like a charcuterie board type of thing, but it has a really pretty design on it. Very fall. There's some pumpkins and some leaves and it also came with a string. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be tied up here, but I'm not in entirely sure. I would think that it should come assembled together, but I don't know. So we'll have to look at the paper to see exactly what this is because I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it's supposed to be maybe some kind of like charcuterie or cheese board, maybe a cutting board. I don't know. I don't know if I would use this to like cut things on, but Let's take a look at the paper and see what they say about it. An exclusive large slate cutting board with harvest design. And that was everything that came in this deluxe Sabbath box for Mabon from The Witch's Moon. What do you guys think? Do you think it was worth the like $160 price tag? I feel like we did get our money's worth, but the question always is, are they items that like you would choose for yourself? If, I mean, could you like assemble your own box with items that you would like better for that amount of money? Or do you think they did a great job? I think it was really good. Like I love the cookbook. I love the Oracle deck. I love the housewarming candle. It smells so good. I've never heard of this brand before, so I'll have to look them up and see like what other scents they have. I also really like the journal and the stand. The display stand is really cool and a unique item to include. So those are definitely the items I am most excited about from this box. My, I love everything in the box, but the items that I am like least excited for would be, hmm, I guess the mortar and pestle, just cause, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna like using a metal mortar and pestle. I know that's weird, but I'll, I'll try it out and see how it is. I'm just used to working with the marble one instead. Um, also, the cutting board isn't like my favorite item. I feel, I feel like it's more of an item I'll use on display than to actually get use out of. I, it makes me nervous to like actually use it for to put food on or anything. I feel like it could get ruined or I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's something that I will hang up as decoration instead, like hang it on my, maybe I'll hang it on my wall in the kitchen. I think that would be pretty nice to do with it. But that was everything from the box, so just let me know what you guys thought. I I did enjoy it. Was it 100% everything that I loved? No, but it was a great box overall. 
What do you guys have planned for Mabon? It is this week, this upcoming weekend. Um, I plan to just like decorate the house and get it all ready, visit a local farm. I want to get some apple cider, maybe some apple cider donuts. And maybe I'll get some apples too and bake an apple pie. I love apple pies, but I prefer like an apple crumble pie than just like a plain apple pie. I think it tastes so much better. I'm sure I'll bake something and make like a nice homemade dinner with stuff from our garden. We're still getting a few items from our garden, like some, what do we have still? Some tomatoes, some cucumbers, some squash. Um, I think I think we have some green beans to pick, so I'll make something with all of that. I will also look up and link as many of these items as I can down below in the description. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these items yourself to help you celebrate this harvest festival, um, I will have them linked down below in the description as many as I can find so that you can purchase them and have them to celebrate Mabon with as well. But that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a lovely Mabon and a magical day and I will see you guys in the next video.